Hey, my name is Matt and I'm with Elements Mountain Company. We're here with our third video in our series uh, called uh, Adjusting to a Changing Mountain Community. And we're lucky to have with us today, uh, Bronwyn Roberts. She is the executive uh, assistant to the chief of police and the town communication analyst. Bron, thank you very much for joining us. Um, we, we actually just found out that we have something in common. Um, your husband, Ryan, used to work with us at Elements for a long time. Um, Anytime uh, he wants to come back, he's got an open invitation because he's an awesome dude. Um, so, Bron, can you share with us um, about your role as the executive assistant and also the uh, town's communication analyst? Yeah, of course. So I um, started out just as the exec executive assistant to the chief of police. And then um, as COVID hit us um, at the town and we had to kind of adapt to COVID, we realized that we needed um, to increase our engagement with the community and to um, increase communication overall and realize there were some gaps that we really needed to fill. So my position changed and added um, that communication analyst role. So I become the public information officer for the town. Um, we also have a PIO for the police department, which is Devery Acuff, and we work together quite a bit, especially when it comes to things like Nixle. We put out the Nixles for the police department, um, and we work a, lo a lot with Chucky Fire with the, the Nixles as well. But, you know, part of the reason was we wanted, we wanted to keep our town informed we couldn't have the um, in-person meetings and people, you know, not everyone um, listens to the council meetings or knows what's going on from the council meetings. So we wanted to find ways to be more transparent and also keep um, the community informed. So, you know, recently we're working on a short-term rentals and nuisance ordinance and we had over 300 public comments just for that first reading, which is huge and like a huge change for us. So I'm proud of that and I'm continuing to try and adapt and figure out if we do have, you know, an increased population that is coming from the Bay, they might be more in, inclined to use something like Twitter. So hopefully by the end of this month, we'll have a Twitter account as well for the town so that we can have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and then also e-notification in our website. That's great. So you are one of the faces behind the uh, Nixle alert messages that are going out. So thank you very much for posting those. And then you'd also mention that the town does have Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. working on it, uh, a Twitter feed. Um, so uh, a lot of the typical social media um, avenues where you can get information on the town of Truckee and a lot of the things going on um, at the town right now. Yeah. And I mean, we also have our police department has its own website and they also have their own um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and then we have our animal services department that has their own as well and Keep Truckee Green, which has their own as, as well. So we try and kind of overlap with a lot of things, but also if you just want to know about recycling and Keep Truckee Green, you can just follow their pages. So yep. we try and not overload people with information where it's not for, like not necessary. Yep. So last week uh, we interviewed Dan Wilkins and he's the uh, director of public works. So, you know, kind of the, the face of uh, snow removal and, and street maintenance in, in Truckee. And one of the things that Dan mentioned was that all indicators show that the, uh, the full-time population base in Truckee is increasing. Um, can you speak to what the police department or the town may be doing to address this growth in, in full-time population? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's it's really difficult as well. And I, I completely agree with Dan that we do feel like we have an increased population, but, um, and, and especially in summer, it feels really busy and it always has. I mean, if you've lived in Truckee a long time, you'll know summer is always crazy. And I think COVID made that even more so um, it felt even busier, especially because a lot of our business operations were outside as well. So if you went downtown, it looked packed and it was, but I mean, everyone was outside. So the perceptions there even more and everyone's really conscious about social distancing and being safe. So that also added to the feel of being busy. Yep. Um, but as far as the data of, do we know whether we actually are increased in our population? We don't really know yet. You know, we, um, I work with Bob Warmack, who is our emergency operations um, 
coordinator, I guess you could call uh. him. I can't remember his real title. <laughs> but anyway, he works a lot with um, Chucky Fire and, and for our fire evacuation planning and things like that. We do do um, traffic and sewer, sewer and water kind of um, data collection and and also, yeah, try and count cars, all those type of things. But that's that could be visitors, that could be short-term rentals. So as far as full-time residents, we won't know until really we look at property tax, um, TOT tax, which is a transit occupancy tax. Yeah. You look at um, the census. So it, this is all stuff that's going to take a while. You know, the school district, um, there was all these myths that there was all these increase in, in um, enrollment and then they came out and said, you know what, we just have normal amounts of enrollment this year. There's nothing huge about it. So we, we don't actually have that information yet to be able to then um, force our budget to increase staff. So in, in that way, we haven't increased staff. For the police department, um, we did have an increase in calls for service, but um, they've gone down again. So uh -huh. they have it wasn't something that stayed the same. So we need to find out whether this is a trend with COVID and we just had an increase in second homeowners being here or whether they're staying. So we'll, we'll find out. Um, and then adjust from there. But we have tried to engage with the community to see the issues that are increasing, whether that's trash or parking issues or any sort of nuisance, yep. and have tried to address that with co-compliance. Um, we do have two traffic officers full-time, so um, one on each side of the week, so that we have a traffic officer at all times, and then patrol helps with that as well. So. That, that's as much as we've done. I know that for the town, they've got new employees in um, planning as well as finance to help with some of that short-term rental ordinance that we are potentially going to be getting. Stay tuned. Right. And kind of like wrapping this up, so is there any message that either the police department or the town of Truckee would like to get out um, to our, our new full-time residents and visit? Not not just to the new full-time residents and visitors, but you know, also to everyone that's living in, in the town of Truckee. Yeah, I think, um, you know, we keep saying this word is unprecedented times, but we are kind of living in this new time and we're all trying to, trying to adapt, whether that's people moving here because of, you know, wanting to live in a, a different place or whether, you know, people are just adapting to the new way we do business and the new way we live our lives because of COVID. So I think we need to be cautious or not cautious, but be uh, respectful of others, I think, and really just be patient. Um, if there are new people that are moving into this town, they may not have, you know, been here for a winter. And as you know, you know, it can be something really, really different. I'm from Australia, you know, I know it's, it's, you know, it was definitely an adjustment for me. And I think we all need to take some personal responsibility and be stewards for our town and, you know, try and educate the people around us instead of creating conflict. I think that's a big thing, but I think also responsibility in that, you know, no matter where you live in the town, you, you have different um, entities that support you. Um, the town of Truckee wasn't incorporated until 1993. So we're kind of odd compared to other places. We had all these special districts pop up way before we were a town. So, you know, the rec department and, you know, PUD or different, you know, we have different electrical companies for different places. So know for your area, you know, who are your providers? Who are your people that you need to call? Have those numbers and um, have those numbers that you need, like Nixall, sign up for the Nixall or know, you know, the disma dispatch number or know if you need to call code compliance or whether you want to report different things, where to go. I think that's important. Um, we're actually creating a new thing called C Click Fix, which hopefully will be different um, special districts being able to help each other to report different things. I mean, we're so close to Plaza as well, so it's really hard to necessarily know when you're reporting something, who the entity is responsible. So I think be patient with your neighbours, the people around you, the special districts in the town. We're all adapting and we're all trying to uh, do our best with this, and I think we need to all. Um, think about that for winter as well. I, I agree. So I, I think generally there there's this this in everyone that we talk to on this series, there's this message that we really need to kind of slow down, understand that we're in unprecedented uh, times right now, 
just have as much patience as possible and realize that we're all kind of working through this together and um, and just try to work with uh, the, the people that um, that are around you to educate them to understand that that they're going through new experiences and um, you know just generally trying to um, um, be a little bit more compassionate and, and understanding is, is gonna be how we kind of navigate this this thing successfully. Um, yeah, I agree with you and I think being patient is such a big thing and I think that includes, you know, being patient and planning ahead. You know, if, if you are going out in storms and things like that, like give yourself enough time and be patient with, you know, how road conditions are and all those type of things. Uh, Bron, uh, thanks so much for your time. It was a pleasure meeting with you and, and thank you for sharing um, the uh, police department and the town of Truckee plans and, and just what you guys have going on. Um, so have a great day. Uh, Matt with Mountain Minutes, out.